Hey everyone, Dave with the Spill Proof Podcast. Just want to let you know we are still going to be posting our podcast episodes up on our YouTube channel, uh, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Instead of putting the full episode on there, uh, what we're going to do is put small snippets of it. Uh, maybe some of the highlights, things like that. And then if you like what you heard, uh, you can check us out where our podcast can be found. So right now, our podcast can be found at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So if you like what you heard, check us out, Spill Proof Podcast. Uh, you can write to us at spillproofpodcast at gmail. Uh, we love to hear your feedback or uh, throw some uh, stuff in the comments. Thanks. And thanks for listening. Yeah, you know, it's funny you say that because I actually was looking at my phone today. Um, you know, just looking at my text messages and I realized you were like eight down from the top. Yeah, I realized that <laughs> it's like yesterday too. We <laughs> haven't sent each other a text in like days. No, because, because we're just with each other. Well, that and technically speaking, we work at the same company. We do, so we can IM each other. Yeah, we so work we've at IM'd the same each company. other. We've been like really trying to limit that, obviously, because correct. We don't want to like go overboard. And Dave is in a new role, and he wants to make sure he's it's it's not anything distracting. Up and running, no, but like but just like check ins. Oh yeah, like hey, how's it going? Need anything up there? Yeah. Or like, how's your work going today? Just quick stuff like that. But we haven't texted each other in days. No, I, I, it's just shocking. Um, we're called each other because we're just with each other. Yeah, there's no reason to call you. You're literally downstairs. I could yell to you. Yeah, it's great. I, I really, I really like the extra family time that we've had because you know our kids eat dinner early, so <laughs> we typically have like a couple hours before bed now where we're just going on walks or going to get ice cream by the canal mm -hmm. or going to visit the grandparents or today we we um, hung outside with some neighbors who have kids around mm -hmm. Owen's age and a really sweet playground in their backyard place that um, so we hung out with them for a while but it's been nice to just have like that quintessential after work time instead of it being very short and um yeah, it almost Rushed, felt like kind of. Yeah, it almost felt like even though I could see them in the morning for a little bit and then, you know, or drop them off at daycare, uh and then a little bit when I got home, you know, maybe for an hour, it's almost like I really didn't see them. I saw them mm -hmm. when they got up like an hour after and then an hour before they went to bed. Every day but Sunday and Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. And now because I you know, work you know, seven thirty to four thirty, and, and and Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm I'm home. Yeah. You know, I I feel like I see them more, and I and yeah. I know that's stupid to say because obviously I see them more, but I actually see them more with quality time. Yeah, it's quality time it's rather not than like like oh my gosh, I got to get in thirty minutes before we get start bedtime routine, or yeah. oh my gosh, I have to. You know, try to get them up early so I can spend, you know, 30 minutes with them before they get sucked into the TV or we got to go up the daycare or whatever mm -hmm. it might be. So and and obviously, you know, there's there are some difficulties with work from home with a two and a half year old and an 11 month old. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you're used to this because you've had it for a while, but I'm just discovering um, I work best in quiet. <laughs> Um, so I can focus and, and if, if again, it's, this is a new job, everything's a little bit new. It doesn't just flow when you've been doing something for three or four years. I get it. You know, you just, you, you get in, you go in, you, you can have music on, you can have distractions, TV, whatever it might be. And, and you can do it right now. It's pretty new. It's been a week. I got to really focus just because I want to make sure I'm doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, speed and, and accuracy is what counts. But he is really loud. And our daughter just yells for no good reason. Well, she typically is trying. So Owen can just get really loud. And he's hugely into cars. So he's typically screaming about like some make-believe scenario He's made up with his cars and they inevitably end up crashing. So it's, oh no, oh no, watch out. 
That's Go all I hear. Out. That's oh, no. all I hear upstairs through the door. And is, I'm oh, used no. to it because he's been doing this forever. Um, and I can typically tune it out or I just put like headphones in and, mm-hmm. and listen to something like for background noise. Yeah. Um, but, and it's not all the time, but um, it's like every once in a while, just all day, he's like playing that cars are crashing or like they're in a race. Mm-hmm. And so it's, oh, watch out. Oh no, look at these guys. So, and then Emily tries to mimic him but she keep, like she can only say a couple words, so mm-hmm. she just ends up yelling and going, <laughs> ah! ah! Um, so yeah, Dave really got to experience that really for the first time, like the last two days, I would say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And mm-hmm. it's it's super distracting. Now, I was in the basement originally where all I could hear was our son stomping. Stomping around. He, he must have flat feet. <laughs> Because the way that he, and, and I have flat feet, so it's possible, but the way he stomps around the house, you would think an adult was walking around in big, heavy boots. Like, it just, it just, it, you wouldn't think it was a two and a half year old stomping around. <laughs> like, it sounds like someone seriously is angry. Mm-hmm. Um, he does stomp around a lot. Um, he, he does. He does. Everywhere he goes, he just, I don't You I, know I, where he is at all times. Yeah. Yeah, and it just, ugh. Although today, when my mom was here, we couldn't find him for like, it was really like one minute. Was he hiding in the curtains? He wasn't, he was hiding in here, not in the curtains. He had really hid under a blanket, Mm -hmm. like on the side of the couch. So it took me a second to realize where he was, and I just, I saw a tuft of hair, and I was like, (laughs) oh, that was a good spot, Owen. And then he peeked out, and he was like, I'm hiding. (laughs) I was he's like, that he's was, actually that was getting really better at hiding, and it's becoming a problem. <laughs> yeah, because normally when he hid, he would kind of just like sit in the middle of the room. Mm-hmm. You'd see feet or hands, or or like he would just sit out in the open. He did, and if you were like, "Oh, I see you," he'd be like, "No, you don't. I'm hiding." <laughs> yeah, he's better. Um, yeah, so sometimes the kids can be loud, and that takes some getting used to. And there are times when, like, I kind of have to. Especially since I'm on the same floor as them Mm. and they can see me sometimes like they'll come over, especially recently Owen's been like, mommy, I need hugs. I need a hug. And it's so cute. But there are times when I'm like, buddy, mommy's working. Like I I really need to focus and I'll have the Nana's take them like outside or in a different room or Mm -hmm. um, like upstairs in his bedroom to play Um, just so that way I'm like out of their line of sight. Um and typically that works. That's fine. He's just kind of, you know, just, he. it's typically when like the Nanas aren't giving him something. And so he comes over to try to butter me up and then ask me. But we've we've seen such an increase in just quality time. Even you and I, mm-hmm. I feel like we've had more time, you and I, to just talk or mm-hmm. um, we went on our first date night in forever. We did that was what two weeks ago was it it was more than a week ago okay yeah it must have been about two weeks ago Mm -hmm. but yeah it was it was literally our first date night since my birthday in 2020 which was march 8th which we were in disney we were in disney for yeah narcoosies yeah but it was um that was a great dinner by the way that was really good but we've been trying to make more time, you and I too, mm-hmm. because now I feel like before when you were working longer hours and, and because you had to commute and it mm-hmm. would add that time on, um, like we were really focused on getting you time with the kids mm-hmm. because you, you really had limited time each day. And so now we can make time, like there's plenty of time for the kids and plenty of time for us to have like our time together too, Mm -hmm. which has been really nice. Which obviously that was one of the reasons why we started doing this. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of parents would be able to say that, you know, it's a balancing act and sometimes it can be off balance. You know, the kids, it's easy to say, well, the kids get all the attention because they have to, because if they don't, they're misbehaving, they're screaming, you know, it's pretty obvious. But between us, it's, it's a little less obvious. And sometimes it's hard to Sometimes it's hard to uh, put it in perspective because you, you don't really notice it because all the attention the kids are getting and then all the energy that goes into that. And then all of a sudden, everyone's just tired sitting on the couch and just wants to 
do nothing. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's, I think it's easy to fall into that rut, uh, Mm -hmm. so to speak, just because it's, it's the way it naturally would fall if you don't put effort towards it. Yeah. So I think we've been trying to refocus on our time, our quality time too, Mm -hmm. which, um, has been really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I've enjoyed it. Mm Mm-hmm. And again, we've only, we're only a week into this, but yeah, so we're like totally in the honeymoon phase, of it. right? Yeah. But at some point, we might get on each other's nerves, or <laughs> yeah, right. But whatever it might so be. far, we're loving it. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things I struggle with work from home, but I feel like I've gotten into like I don't. It's it's not a bad r- routine, but. Like, I obviously, like, I don't do my hair and makeup as much, Mm -hmm. which is, like, fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, But I think sometimes I'm like, oh, it would be nice to, like, get up, do my hair, my makeup. And there are days that I obviously do that. And I'm like, oh, I feel really good today. Um, But it's easy to throw on, like, leggings or, like, a, like, athletic bottoms and like a flowy Mm. top and just kind of like whatever like throw my hair into like a nice bun on the back of my head so that it looks professional um but like i think sometimes i do miss like getting not the like getting up early to get ready but just like looking nicer Mm -hmm. so that's something i still haven't like when i was I was obviously pregnant during pandemic and I would just wear my maternity clothes. So there was like a limited number of things I could wear anyways. It was Mm -hmm. like very plain t-shirts, maternity t-shirts, like maternity shorts or or pants. Um, But now like obviously I'm like our daughter's almost one. Like (laughs) I have not been pregnant for almost a year, but I haven't gotten into the like, this is what my like, work from home wardrobe is which i think i i need to like figure that out i i get that 100 yeah. percent. i i today was the first day that i didn't wear my blue polo because mm-hmm. i knew we weren't having morning meetings and i i think i switched to shorts like two days ago yeah just because you know nobody sees the bottom anyways yeah. and it's warm mm-hmm. um but before that i was like full polo pants your hair was my hair was done. I you use them? it's not gelled. Wax. Wax, yeah. Dry wax. Was dry. Yeah. Um <clears throat> and just because I wanted to look professional on, mm-hmm. on, on camera and on the video chats, it wasn't required by any means. I think most of the people I work with either don't even show their camera or <laughs> 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 um they're just in regular clothes. Um, cause they're all work from home as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I don't think like, I, not that I don't think I know like me wearing more relaxed clothes, it doesn't make me like more relaxed when I'm speaking with a client or with like a business partner or my team. Like I'm, I don't think I'm acting different because mm-hmm. I'm wearing like more relaxed because clothes. Because you're more comfortable. Or- yeah. I actually think it's helped me, um, like not feel so uptight or like nervous about meetings because I am more relaxed and I can- you're more comfortable. Yeah, I can just focus on the business and not mm. worry about like, wow, these pants are pretty tight when I sit down. <laughs> this is a poor choice. I have a muffin top right now. Like I'm like, ah, my elastic waistband is like benefiting me really well right now. <laughs> um, but I think like for me personally, like not work related at all, just yeah. me personally- um, I'm like, do I even like remember how to get ready? Thanks for listening to the snippet of this episode. Full episodes can be found on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. As always, we love feedback. Throw it in the comments or write to us at spillproofpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.